Hi everyone, my name is Lin and I lead the vendor relationship and resellers enablement within the cybersecurity team in APEC. And this is Richie. Hi, thanks Lin. Hi, this is Richie and I head up cybersecurity consulting for APEC as well. So in our session today, we'll be sharing with you our capabilities in cybersecurity and why you should work with us. Earlier on, we shared that the APEC Center of Excellence is a heavy investment. Mm -hmm. Shown here are the six pillars of our COE, and these six pillars plays a part in every aspect of your end-to-end -end sales journey. So let me touch on the vendor management piece before passing the mic back to Richie to elaborate more on the te technical capabilities. Ingram Micro works on 100% channel models. We do not transact directly with end users. Our dedicated vendor management team works and collaborates with the best-in-class cybersecurity vendors on their go-to-market strategies and business planning and sales performance. We constantly assess and onboard new technologies and new cybersecurity vendors so as to keep up with the ever-changing industry needs. So with our deep expertise, we strategize and execute go-to-market plans for the channels and help to accelerate growth in their business. We work very closely with key vendors like Cisco, IBM, Palo Alto, and many, many more around domain-centric solutions such as SIEM, NextGen Firewall, SOAR, DLP, and of course, identity management. Yeah. Okay. So, Richie, I spoke about the vendor management piece and how closely we work with our vendors. Um, I know we also invested very heavily in the technical piece in the COE. Yeah. Would you be able to share more with us on how the COE technical experts can help the partners uh, value add in their ecosystem? Sure, no problem, Lin. So before I touch on the technical solution, let me just share a bit of the end user challenges because end of the day, what we are trying to solve is the end user challenge, right? It's yeah. not about putting in a product. So when it comes to cybersecurity ecosystem, you know, we're talking about such a huge hybrid of products from different vendors and it's quite challenging for some of end user whereby you know they deploy so many products from different vendors yeah. and it's very hard for them to sometimes to consolidate and make sure that they work together and also to help to address you know some of these increasing regulations and compliance requirements and um, we are living in a unprecedented situation right now we are talking about the covid pandemic you know whereby um, we are being forced to work from home. So from a security standpoint, it's no longer about you know, protecting your users in a centralized location, in an office, for example. We're talking about millions of end users right, spread out all over the world. And how do you manage them? You know, how do you mitigate you know, some of these security risks as part of this huge digital transformation push? right? And thirdly, to add on is that they are facing more challenges from the sense that there's a generally lack of skilled resources, right? So research has shown that in terms of the number of skilled resources globally, and especially in APEC, there's a huge shortage of security professionals. And some of our end users are really struggling you know, to try to you know, have that in-house security expertise right. to manage and maintain their security posture. That's, right. That's where we come in from Ingram Micro perspective and I will talk a bit on my security consulting as well. So before I, I move on to some of these details to share on this whole full range of cyber security consulting services. So we already have a very strong deployment services due to our very strong legacy in terms of distributing IT products, right? So before I touch on the deployment of solution, let me just touch a bit on some of those high level advisory consulting services, yeah. right? Because end of the day, what we are trying to solve is trying to solve our end user business challenges, right? We're not solving just the IT problem, right? That's right. So, so one of the things that we felt is lacking in the market is to able to articulate some of these business risks, mm -hmm. whether is it regulatory compliance, whether is it data governance, right? So there's a, a gap in terms of identifying these challenges and how do we improperly implement the correct solutions with the right configurations okay. so that they can manage their whole security ecosystem. Mm -hmm. right? That's the part on advisory services. And another exciting thing 
that we are building in Singapore as well is the incubation lab. Okay. So this is going to be a playground whereby all the vendors from uh, different vendors with different products, you know, whereby they can all come together, you know, have all their wonderful latest toys into this incubation lab. And it, it's a very safe um, environment for them to test out and simulate, for example, adversary attack and how do we detect and how do we respond as well. So, as mentioned, we have a very strong build and technical services. And last but not least, security is something that evolves so rapidly that anything that was safe yesterday or safe today, mm -hmm. it might be unsafe tomorrow. Yes. So we always hear about you know, security vulnerabilities happening. We always hear about security breach happening almost every day. So what we have here is the whole optimization and support services so that our client, you know, after we implement the solution, after we build, after we design, we help them to operate and manage some of these solutions okay. as well. Okay. And, and just to summarize it, okay, we have the full range of security consulting services and I will just touch a bit on some of the key focus solutions mm -hmm. that we see is of a high demand in the market right now. All right. Okay. Yeah. So thanks, Richie. So mm -hmm. we spoke about the cyber domains that we are focusing on, right? And I know we are building use cases in our labs that surrounds around these domains, all right? So can you share with us next, right, on how these use cases are being used and how they can actually complement the partner's sales journey? Sure, no problem. So let me just start off this way, talk about IAM, hmm. right? I mean, very hot topic, yes. <laughs> very hot topic. <laughs> Everyone uses um, different desktop, login application, payroll, SFDC, um, yes. accessing to databases. And one of the most challenging thing is how do we manage all these different credentials? And the advisory, the advisory are pretty smart as well. The bad guys will know which particular accounts they want to target. Mm -hmm. We are talking about, you know, the privileged accounts, talking about the super the users, users, the yep. administrators, mm -hmm. right? So these are the, the, the key assets that they want to assess because once you have access to some of these key credentials, okay. you can pretty much own your whole IT infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So what we have here is end-to-end -end services, you know, identifying, understanding from a business perspective, what, what system they have, what application they have, you know, how can we help to improve you know, the whole authentication okay. in their environment so that uh, we can help them to protect their brand and they won't be you know, the next um, company to be, you know, yes. appear on the news that, oh, That's this right. company has been breached. <laughs> so this is something that is one of the key focus that we have from IAM PAM perspective. Mm -hmm. Okay. So another hot topic, as mentioned earlier, will be more from data protection yep. and governance. Yep. So there are so many regulations, and one of the uh, most common ones that we hear in the market has always been GDPR. Yep. And even recently, you know, um, the Authority of uh, Singapore, they have also released news that they will be also imposing very stiff penalties uh, for those organizations who doesn't do a well uh, round job in terms of protecting the data. Yep. And any protection or uh, any breach in terms of data, right, there will be very stiff penalties that it can be up to 10% of their turnover. That's a lot. So many yes. organizations are now going to, to stand up and say, hey, I have this responsibility, right? So again, it's not just about Im implementing a box or a solution, right? So from advisory, perspective, we need to understand what are the business critical assets. It could be things like personal data, it could be credit card data, and yep. so on and so forth. So understanding that critical assets the business have to protect, configuring the DLP solutions in the correct manner okay. that will help them to really minimize the risk exposure All to right. the adversary. Okay. 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 So last but not least, uh, let me just share a bit more on the SOC design. Yes. So this is the part where, as I mentioned, you know, every end users out there will probably use a very mixed hybrid of products and solutions from different vendors. 
which is which is the norm, right? So, but however, the challenge is that how do you get these different products to work together, yep. and how do you monitor? You know, whether do you have a single pane of glass to really you know monitor what is going on in your environment? Yep. Are we monitoring the correct assets? Are we detecting incidents on uh, real time? And last but not least, having that single pane of glass will give the end user a full visibility of their environment and that will also help them to detect and respond to incidents faster as well. I see. Okay. So uh, I've mentioned a lot of our offerings, our capabilities and portfolios. So let me just hand over to you to talk about the marketing engine that we will have. Thanks, Richie. So marketing is another very important pillar of our COE. So in Ingram Micro, we actually have a full suite of marketing services integrated, focusing largely on digital. So from planning to conceptualizing to executing and to tracking. So our go-to-market plan surrounds four key stages. Mm -hmm. Awareness, enablement, recruitment and demand generation. So depending on the maturity of the vendor solutions and our market and, uh, and the and the customers and also the vendors environment, right? Mm -hmm. um, our marketing team will conceptualize and customize the campaign and activities based on business objectives and expected outcomes. So for example, on the use case that you have shared earlier, on SOC, on IEM and things like that, right? We are able to translate the solution from the vendor into use cases and then into go-to-market assets such as EDMs, social media posting and of course, um, whiteboarding videos. All right? So being a two-tier distributor, we continue to drive vendor solutions on a product basis or, or the product awareness to the channel market through activities like enablement, digital media, etc. Right? At the same time, we saw an increased need from the resellers um, to help them with end users' demand generation marketing. Mm. Right? So through the digital uh, marketing tools and enablements, we built digital platforms for marketing capabilities while scaling up the vendor's campaigns outreach. For example, using our partner more, okay, uh, the partners can easily assess the assets as um, edit them and then also customize them according to their needs and they send it out to the uh, to their end users and to their own database all right so if they do not have a marketing team or a dedicated resource to do that right we also offer marketing as a service where customized content and collaterals can be built yeah according to the resellers needs all right so last but not least while we tap on the existing customers on our channel partners, right, we leverage on digital marketing vehicles such as Google Display, mm. um, content marketing, as well as account-based marketing to drive white space and user demands. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's good. So, so Lin, uh, I think we, we have shared a lot in terms of yeah. marketing initiatives. We have talked share a lot on our technical capabilities. Do you want to summarize what we have sure. spent today? Of course. Yeah. So having been in the IT industry for over 40 years, right, Ingram Micro knows the IT landscape very, very much. I think nobody knows better than us. Mm -hmm. So we are the bridge between vendors and resellers and we will continue to innovate and be the pillar of support to the resellers. Right? So again, we, um, I'd like to emphasize, we work on a 100% channel distribution model. We do not compete with resellers. Instead, we build a team of domain experts to continue supporting resellers. Okay. So through the investment of a dedicated cyber security team, for example, like you know, in the technical piece and the vendor management piece, incubation labs, as well as the marketing engines. So we are able to relate to your business needs and from there, customize and derive appropriate solutions for you and the end users. Yeah. So in short, we are not just another distributor. We are a solution aggregator and we are definitely a distributor of choice. Thank you, Lin. And uh, I hope we have shared very valuable information of so. where we are, where do we want to be in terms of some of our future plans. And uh, definitely, you know, if there's any inquiries from our partners, they are feel free to contact us and email us. That's right. That's right. Yeah. So with this, we thank you for the last 15 minutes with us and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Thank you.